Okay, I'm here with Nico, and this video is going to look like it's just a dog playing fetch with a ball. But um, there's a really important message here that, that I think will help a lot, a lot of people who own dogs and a lot of people that train dogs. Um, first of all, Nico came to me because owners got, got him, and they are older, and they bought this dog. And um, the breeder said he, he breeds police dogs. And um, they had gotten an older dog from him before, a two, two, two and a half year old dog, and it was a me mellow dog. So that's what they thought they were going to get, get again. But they got the puppy here, and this guy has a ton of drive, and he is energy through the roof, not what they signed up for. Um, the breeder should know better, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Anyway, um, it's a lot of dog and and so the training has been geared around um the owners okay and i have to bridge a gap between what this dog needs it has to have its uh, genetics needs fulfilled um and owners have to be able to do it um so we have to be able to help both both parties here the dog and the owners and I started out, if you guys have been watching this, I taught this dog the possession games. Um, when, you know, when they got him when he was younger, they were trying to play tug and, it, and the dog was nuts, bite, biting the guy's arms and stuff. And oh, owner didn't know what to do. So, so he just quit. And then they tried to play fetch with a ball and the dog would chase, would chase the ball. Wouldn't, he wouldn't bring, bring it back. And it was, it was just a mess. Um, so what I did was I used possession games because this dog really wants to bite and stuff. And when I first showed him showed him the tug, he didn't get it. He didn't want to bite it. He didn't know. Because now, 11 months old, he hadn't played this game at all. You know, they like I said, they tried when he was really, really young. Um, so he hadn't done done this stuff. He had ba basically been in in a house, an apartment, and out and out for walks and stuff. Um, and he was wound up. So I taught him how to play, how to play possession games with a, with a tug. Um, and he lit up like a Christmas tree. Once he understood the rules, how to win, how the game was played, he loved it. And then of course, with that possession game, you incorporate in throws and he would bring it right back to me because of the game, be, you know, because he understood the game. It, it, this was not a, fo a formal fetch. Um, he just, he, as soon as I th threw it, he would go get it and bring it back and say, hey, man, let's go at this again. Um, and then I turned that into the ball. And this is the first time he's played ball with me. Um, and as you could see, as I've been speaking here, he's just bringing it right back to me every single time. And this is where I wanted to get for the owners because, like I said, they're older and they're not going to be playing tug of war like I play with, with with this dog. This dog's the real a real dog here. I mean, and 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 he hits pretty hard and stuff. And you got to be a little athletic to do it. So we're changing it into fetch, and now he knows fetch. He loves fetch. Um, I have him down here because a a person was go was going by there, and the person was a little concerned. He's this dog is fine. Uh, anyway. Um, so we change it into fetch, and you could see the dog brings it right back. It it drops it, it outs it, and I'm using the uh, thing to throw to throw it, the the ch chuck it thing. So owners are going to be able to do to do this, and and they're going to be able to play play this game, and they're going to be able to give give this dog a lot of the genetic expression it needs. Um, and and like I said, I'm. Uh, I'm bridging. I'm bridging the gap. The perfect situation. This dog would continue to do bite, bite work, and stuff like that. Um, but that's just uh, not happening. But but the dog is going to be able to to you know to go out with them um, in fields uh, uh, right by their house, and it's going to be able to play to play fetch, and and it's going to have fun, and it's going to get the chase, and it's going to get the game, and it's going to get becoming a team with the owners and stuff. Um, and the dog is going to, and the dog's going to have a great time. Owners are going to have a great, great time because they're going to have a great dog. Um, 
but you have to bridge this gap and and this dog is not a dog that you should just try to suppress and and try to make it make it just be calm and this and that um uh, man this this dog high energy um sure dogs should learn to be calm and stuff but you're not just gonna make this dog a couch potato dog and just make it be calm or teach it to be calm and it's just gonna be calm um it's young it and, and it needs it needs to do this. It is a disservice if you're going to take a dog like this and you're not going to do this kind of stuff with it. Um, um, so it's really cool that, that now owners are going to be able to do this. And, um, you know, the dog loves it. Owners are going to have a great, a great time. And, you know, taking this dog out a couple times a day playing fetch like this is going to be great um i would i would recommend right now with this dog a uh, three times a day be, because he is man he is high energy um um three times a day is great but um they can get away with twice but um this dog has changed tremendously since i bring him out into the field now two to three times a day um i actually upped it to, upped it to three to three times a day and um, man, he he's really really changed. He's changed inside the house and stuff. He's still he's still high strong, right? But but he's but he's controllable now. Um, he's much less nuts. And this is new. In another cu- couple weeks, it, the the improvement it's going to be huge. But the big thing here is to is to first of all, the dog should be matched to um, the people that are going to own it. We have a mismatch here, so the next best thing is to find a bridge between the dog and the owner so that the training makes it so this is going to work out.